let's take more example about what information we can extract from this application. So let's take some technical ex uh, example and some non-technical non examples. Now, whatever we are gathering right now, you will get to know how useful it is in upcoming lectures. So let's go to infrastructure and let's get IP address for instance. So I can click here for IP address and I can put any IP. It could be an IP for a server, for a client. Assume that this is a server IP. I can right click on it and I can search for all the domain name on the same IP. So assume that I have an IP for a server. I just need to know all the website hosted on the server because maybe if one of those websites is weak, it will allow me to compromise the server and accordingly I can compromise the remaining of the machine. So we can go here and we can go to, uh, let's see this one, not WebSphere. Uh, you can check also the, the, the DNS as well. And this will be a very, very useful information as you're gonna need know later on. Uh, domain website let's see this is the right one yeah here you go no, actually this is not the one that I was looking for email no 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 website yeah as you can see, those are all the websites that may be related to this IP. Okay, this is one way for using it. Let's try something else related to, for instance, social media. So let's go to here. I can choose, for instance, Twitter. And if I'm looking for a specific account and all people related to this account, let me try Bill Gets. But for the social uh, account search, some of the uh, inquiry will request you to log in. So sometimes you run some inquiry and it will ask you to log in using your account. So what I suggest is that to create an account just for testing. Do not use your personal account for such uh, tools because you never know. So, you know, you can choose anything here. As you can see, he will request you to uh, enter your credential, your uh, Twittering cred uh, credential. So it's better to have an account. Same issue, I believe, will, for, will be for Facebook. I can try, for instance, by the way, it's quite easy to delete something. Just click on it and you click on delete. So it's it's very easy to delete any entity from uh, your uh, screen. So let's take another example. Assume that I'm looking for an email address. I need, I know a piece of information about someone, which is his email. And I need to know where his email has been mentioned. Maybe I get to know a piece of information like, you know, in what area he's interested, what is his hobby on, uh, hobbies, in which website he's uh, registered forms or blogs or things like that. So let me put my email. For sake, for... This will get you good actually uh, results because sometimes you find his CV, you may find you know some of his activity. So we can search for, uh, you know, he got a big library. So I can search a phone number, for instance. I can search, you know, you can run everything and see what result you are getting. So let's see this one, domain. Or if I can see URL where I, my email has been mentioned. Okay. As you can see, this is my own domain. Definitely, I have my email on my own domain. And uh, I can get any URL where my email has been mentioned. I believe you are getting the point. So it's a very, very powerful tool. And it will save you a lot of effort while you are doing some uh, reconnaissance and gathering some passive information. Uh, nothing is considered illegal here because you are using public record. You are just saving yourself time. And the good point 
about Maltigo is that it can relate things together. So I can get a Twitter account and I can go to know all people friend and then their friend and I can get who is working where and you know. So you can enhance your search. You just need to get familiar with the tool. It's not a complicated tool. It's a graphical tool, very, very easy to use. But I cannot tell you what exactly you should search for because it depends about the target and it depends about your objective. So I hope this lecture will be useful for you. I may add another lecture giving a real scenario and ask you to do it and show you if I just get a piece of information, what I can, what can I do more? So I may give a lecture explaining uh, a real realistic scenario. But anyway, I will suggest strongly to download the tool and get used to it because it will really, really help you while doing the penetration testing.